Empas Wastewater Treatment. Empas is a public utility company that provides residential sewage services. It does so with a highly qualified team of employees and by applying criteria for excellence with the goal of seeking to improve its customers' quality of life as well as protecting the environment. Empas is the public sewage company in Santander and as such, it is one of the country's most important companies. The quality of its employees is second to none, and it has been in the market for nearly 50 years. Empas was created hand in hand with the environmental regulator, which at this time, it's the corporation for the defense of the Bucaramanga High Plains. We are in the Rio Frio wastewater treatment plant in the town of Giron. This is the preliminary treatment area. On the left side, we can observe the approach channel where the raw wastewater arrives. This channel can also double as an overflow facility for when the incoming volume exceeds the plant's treatment capacity. At the end, we also have the sips, broad, fine, and medium. And further back, we have the grit remover. These units make up the preliminary treatment. They remove solid residue and the sand present in the wastewater. For that, we have self-cleaning fine-grain sifts, which have been in operation for a long time. Today, we are performing maintenance on the 6 mm sieve. We are changing the polyethylene components, the lateral sheets and the teeth. The 3 mm sieve is working correctly and we perform an annual maintenance procedure on it. As the water flows through the sieves, fine solid residues are removed. This debris is collected from all of the homes located in the plant's area of influence. We separate solid organic and inorganic residue. They are packaged and shipped off to El Carrasco Sanitary Landfill. Afterwards, the water enters the grit remover where we take out the silt. There, it settles to the bottom, and every eight days, we clean out the channels with pressure suction equipment belonging to Empass. This material is extracted and then placed in a separate area in the rear of the Rio Frio plant, where they can be used as a filtering medium for the drying beds. What is wastewater? Wastewater is the name for the water produced by processes in our homes. When we flush the toilet. When we use water to wash our dishes in the kitchen. Or in any other household chore. All of the material that is dissolved becomes part of the wastewater. Protect and respect nature. After going through the grit remover, there is the primary treatment system, which consists of a concrete distribution tank that is called distribution tank number two. It distributes the effluent water via a spillway to the WASV reactors, which are the principal treatment facilities at the Rio Frio plant. The plant currently has four WASV reactors. The fourth reactor is divided into two tanks. For operating reasons, it is treated as an independent tank. This reactor receives domestic wastewater that has been previously treated and desilted. The load of organic contaminants coming into the plant is reduced through a biological process using anaerobic bacteria. 70% of this load is reduced and it is transformed into methane gas and mud. Methane gas is captured through one of the gas collection funnels. It is transported and measured and later burned in the on-site atmospheric incinerators. The mud that is generated inside the WASP reactor is a byproduct. It is pumped out through tubes to drying beds where it becomes dehydrated. Water is filtered out and the mud dries out in the sun. 
This allows us to end up with organic material that is rich in nitrogen and phosphorus. This material is processed through composting, so it can later be used as organic fertilizer. The wasp normally produces between 1,200 and 1,500 cubic meters of biogas per reactor, each of which treats 150 liters per second. The water that enters the reactor takes between six and seven hours to be treated. After that, we normally reach an efficiency of between 60 and 72 percent, up to 75 percent in removing organic waste. Methane gas is captured with gas funnels. Inheriting a 40-year operating history, MPAS as such was founded eight years ago. Its shareholders, its majority shareholder with 99% is the Bucaramanga Autonomous Corporation, along with other municipalities as shareholders, such as Surata, Matanza, Vetas, Empulamaga, and Empulebrija. I repeat, Empas's majority shareholder is the Bucaramanga High Plains Defense Corporation. And thus began a new chapter in the story, eight years ago, when Empas was constituted. Empas is one of the largest companies in the country. It is the fifth or sixth largest public utility company in the country. It is a very efficient company in the way that it provides its services. We are overseen by government regulators who monitor our activities 24 hours a day throughout our operating territory, which encompasses several municipalities. We also provide services such as septic tank cleaning, sewer maintenance, and we also advise municipalities that don't have the capacity or the personnel or the infrastructure to properly manage their sewage systems. After the primary treatment, we find ourselves at the wastewater intake of the WASP reactors in Lagoon No. 2, where wastewater is treated after the WASP reactors. This is Facultative Lagoon No. 2. From the outset, the treatment plant had two Facultative Lagoons, No. 1 and No. 2. Currently, only Lagoon No. 2 is operational, and it will be taken out of commission once the modernization and expansion projects underway are finished. Taking development to the province of Santander. All of these waters reach the sewer system and eventually reach the treatment plant. There, the first system those waters reach is the aquaguard. The aquaguard is formed by filters, where floating debris, such as leaves, is trapped, as well as residue from normal households and all kinds of establishments. The system works through hooks that capture all of this material and take it through an auger into bags, which are later taken to a landfill where this material is deposited. Impass is a dynamic and modern entity with an emphasis on the future, and like any organization, it seeks to improve itself. This is an organization that is currently providing sewage services in the cities of Florida, Bucaramanga, and Giron. Here, we provide maintenance and operation services. We also invest in the networks to guarantee that the system works perfectly. In particular, we are always undertaking preventive maintenance on our networks so that during heavy rains, we don't have emergencies on the roads, so that the system will not be affected. This is a company that belongs to the citizens of Santander. It is 100% publicly owned, and as manager and under the leadership of our board, we seek to expand into many other areas. Already, you can appreciate that Empas has a very broad service portfolio, and right now we are undertaking the construction of a plant to treat industrial wastewater. 
It would be a plant to treat industrial wastewater with sludge treatment, as well as a plant to treat hazardous waste. That plant is located next to this plant, and we will visit it later. It is an activated sludge treatment plant, and it is fully operational. That will allow Bucaramanga and the state of Santander to manage hazardous wastes, industrial wastewater, and the resulting sludge. Why? Because this will help to improve the area's environment, and it will allow us to put water resources back into the environment in better condition than how we took them in the first place. Impas, Public Drainage and Waterworks of Santander. We do what we do, taking pride in our work, because we are serving the community and contributing to its well-being. From here, we remove solid wastes, such as stones, sand, and even trash, which we also take care of in order to keep the streams clean. Impas provides some of the community's most important services, such as collecting wastewater generated in homes and transporting it through pipes that take it to the wastewater treatment plant, where they undergo a process of decontamination and later on we return the water to the streams with better than 80% efficiency. Impas repairs damages caused by sinkhole in the historic sector of Giron. Impas replaces a manhole cover in the neighborhood of San Antonio de Carrizal. Impas completed network maintenance in Villas de San Francisco. Dry weather helps to speed up repairs on the retaining wall of the La Iglesia Creek. Empas fulfilled its commitment to the community of El Poblado by refurbishing its sewers. Empas begins cleanup of industrial park number one. After repairs, Empas opens road in the neighborhood of San Miguel. It's very important to generate consciousness amongst families at home where people can be educated in the proper use of natural resources. Water is a resource that we must obviously take care of, just like any other natural resource. But water is key because it's something we use on a daily basis. The message for all the families is that we should be conscientious about how we use our water. They should realize that there are mechanisms through which we can reuse wastewater from our washing machines or from other sources in the household, and that we should not contaminate water resources with oil residue, for example. We have to teach them that it should be collected in a jar and sent to a landfill like Carrasco, which serves Bucaramanga and its metropolitan area, or taken to areas that can dispose of this type of material and prevent it from entering our treatment plant, since it can affect our processes, as does other debris that people throw away in our rivers, such as furniture, tires. Every kind of garbage imaginable lands at our plant here. It doesn't just affect our process, but it also makes our job more difficult and generates all kinds of delays. We are currently working on consolidating projects in this town of Giron and in neighborhoods like El Poblado, Santa Cruz, and Paraíso. In Florida Blanca, we are working on priority projects, and in La Cumbre, we are working on upgrading the sewer system. All of these projects benefit their communities. Under the guidance of General Manager Dr. Prada, we are developing the La Marino River Project. At a cost of $7.5 million, it will benefit the community by decontaminating this tributary and thus improve our quality of life. All of this points to the importance of the PTAR Rio Frio Wastewater Treatment Plant. If we let all of that wastewater flow back to the river untreated, it would cause widespread contamination. Through our processes, we can achieve 80% efficiency in removing the contaminant load. Thus, the water that is returned to the tributary only carries an average load of 20%. So the function that we perform is very important. Más importante aún, las nuevas infraestructuras que se están 
Even more important are the new facilities that are coming online in the treatment plant. Since we can see how our city and our metropolitan area is growing, there is new construction every day. Every day you have new arrivals to the city, and every day we are building new pipelines. But the reality is that this plant's capacity falls short of actual demand. So when the new systems come online, we expect to be able to remove even more contaminants from that same volume of water we are processing. Modernization of the Rio Frio treatment plant. The MPAS company operates this plant here, which at one point in time was the most advanced in Latin America. Back then, wastewater treatment plants used facultative ponds. Back then, it was a model of technology for the rest of the country, but it's a technology that has been obsolete for many years now. And right now, we are bringing online the first phase of the activated sludge plant. This is a treatment system that can remove anywhere between 95 and 98 percent of biochemical oxygen demand, and it does not generate offensive odors. This will allow the citizens of Santander and the cities of Bucaramanga, Florida, and Giron to have a healthier environment, and it will make sure that the domestic wastewater produced by our communities is returned to our rivers and to the Rio de Oro in particular, clean and in compliance with current environmental regulations. Empass is a company focused on the future, and it seeks to compete with its portfolio of services, not just in the province of Santander, but nationwide. The effluent from Lagoon 2 is taken to the Rio Frio as the final part of treatment here at the Rio Frio plant. This will change in the coming months, when this unit we're looking at comes online. El proyecto de modernización de la planta Río Frío contempla varias etapas constructivas de las cuales se va a poner en funcionamiento la etapa número uno. Actualmente está en construcción el desarenador número dos, el pozo de distribución dos, el tanque WASP número cinco y la unidad del tanque de aireación más su decantador. Con esta unidad en la que estamos, with this unit we see here, we will treat an average of 500 liters per minute. This is an aerobic treatment unit. Air is injected through a set of blowers. They can send 27,000 cubic meters of air every hour through 5,630 fine mist diffusers. Through this system, we expect to achieve greater efficiency at the Rio Frio plant. This system also has a system of homogenizers or mixers. They generate a flow that keeps in a state of suspension all of the microorganisms that this aerobic system needs to have. The modernization program of the Rio Frio wastewater treatment facility is structured in several stages. Stage one is now coming online. Grit remover number two, distribution pond two, WASP tank number five, the aeration tank and its decanter are currently under construction. The excess sludge produced by this system is pumped through pipes and taken to a mechanical dehydration system that uses contopress equipment. This equipment will dehydrate the sludge and prepare it for the drying beds. Finally, this sludge already dehydrated and dried, will be disposed of according to current regulations, either to a landfill or used as filler material in the production of biosolids. After passing through the aerobic tank and the sediment tank, the discharge is sent through a perimetral channel to Rio Frio under better treatment conditions. The degree of efficiency may possibly exceed that which is required by law. This stage is already nearly 95% complete. Stage 2 is currently under construction. It consists of a tank that's just like this one that's already built. That unit is still missing some equipment so that, in terms of infrastructure, the Rio Frio plant can reach an installed capacity of over 1,000 liters per second. 
After the aerobic treatment system, there is a decanter that separates liquids from solids. The sludge is returned to the aerobic system through a pumping system, which will keep the microorganisms concentrated in this tank. With the four WASP reactors the plant currently has, it can process 50 liters per second. With the new tank, it can process 500 liters per second aerobically. And with the new stage under construction, which is WASP tank number five and aeration tank number two, the plant will have the infrastructure necessary to treat 1,000 liters per second. It is also hoped that the effect of the odors produced by the plant on the Petari area can be greatly diminished. It is also hoped that as part of this modernization project, the biogas that is currently being burned can be utilized to supply part of the electricity required by this new treatment system. The process is very costly and the community pays through its sewage bills. If only we were a little more conscientious of our role in this process, then we wouldn't need to modernize. On the contrary, we would say, these facilities are enough. All we would have to do is maintenance and that would be enough. So why do we need to modernize? Because the demand outweighs the resources and we have to treat more water every day. That is why we have to make ever greater investments in technology so we can treat that water and diminish the impact. Mm -hmm.